Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We had already covered what is ecology, what is ecosystem, what are the ecological pyramid. Uh, today we are going to cover what are the population interactions are there and what are the ecological indicators, what is ecosystem service and some important points. We had already covered energy flow in ecosystem, then some basic principle, basic concepts of ecosystem, community types, community succession, etc. What is population interaction? You know, whenever there are two species or any two organisms live aside to each other whenever there is closer cohabitation of two or more organisms there is some kind of interaction exist right whether it is organism microorganisms and animal animals and plants plants and plants animals and animals etc so what is a parasitism so these are certain interactions like parasitism commensalism mutualism predation competition amensalism these are certain interaction population interactions so what is parasitism in parasitism, uh, there is host parasitic relationship exists. The host is the sufferer organism. Parasite uh, has some negative in impact on host. So parasite live on host, host body. It uh, collect energy from host and it uh, maintains its lifestyle. In parasitism, it is positive for parasite point of view and it is negative from host point of view. Then commensalism. In commensalism, benefit derived uh, by weaker partner okay in commensalism what happens one organism it has positive impact another one uh, there is no effect on the other organism in mutualism what happens that is also known as symbiosis both organism they there is positive impact on both organism in predation one organ uh, on one organism there is positive impact another organism there is uh, negative impact it is like prey predation uh, interaction then in competition, both organisms suffer, both has negative impact. Amensalism means there is negative impact on that organism and there is neutral uh, impact on other organisms. So the examples are antibiosis and allelopathy, right? So these are certain population interaction you have to remember. Some of the important from these are amensalism, commensalism and of course symbiosis is also there. So these are certain important points, important interaction you have to keep in mind. Then what is ecological indicators? What is ecological indicators? So there are different ecological indicators like keystone species, umbrella species and flaxseed species. What is keystone species? Species that has disproportionately large effect on its environment relation to its abundance. Okay, That species which has disproportionately large effect on its environment that is known as keystone species and umbrella species. This is species selected for making conservation related decisions right wherever there are different natural parks there are different you know conservation processes are made by government so the species on which the conservation practices or conservation related decisions have been taken those are known as umbrella species then what are the flagship species these are raising the profile of a particular species okay then what is ecosystem service human benefited from multitude of resources and process of nature ecosystem based on these benefits based on this uh, multitude different dimension of benefits um, getting by human and other animals there are five categories of ecosystem service those are provisioning like production of food and water then regulating function a control of climate and disease then supporting function like nutrient cycle crop pollination and cultural cultural service like spiritual and recreational then preserving service okay maintenance of diversity so these are five categories of ecosystem service we are getting from nature or from our environment right so students these were some important points from ecology and ecosystem section so there are some important points again i would like to highlight in this session these are very important from exam point of view so in a true ecosystem there is always producer is greater than consumer the number of or biomass of producer is always greater than the number of consumers in a true ecosystem if the there is more number of producer than consumer then that is called true ecosystem maintenance of a constant internal environment within constantly changing environment is called as homeostasis within the constantly changing environment you know environment is changing but in this changing environment if we can maintain or orga any organism that can maintain its internal environment then that is known as homeostasis that process is known as homeostasis specific part of habitat occupied by individuals of a species which is circumscribed by its range of tolerance range of movement microclimate types of food and its availability shelter types of predator timing of activity called niche okay so an ecological niche is used by a single species 
abundance of species population within its habitat is called as niche density what is niche density that is the abundance of species population within its habitat what is keystone species that is uh, the species that is low in abundance that dominate but its removal causes serious disruption in structure and function of the community then that is known as keystone species it has certain impact certain influence on the ecosystem now what is ecotype or eco species that is the genetically distinct or dissimilar variety population or race within a species which is adapted to specific environment okay what is biokinosis it was proposed by carl mobius it is the association of different organism forming a closely integrated community and what is sympatric species that is species within same geographical area what is allopatric species that is species present in different geographical area what is biotic potential of a species that is the ability of a population of living species to increase under ideal environment condition like sufficient food supply no predators lack of disease etc what is integrational equity hold of natural and cultural environment by human generation after generation that is integrational equity example sustainable development what is biological diversity that is the total numbers of different species on earth that is called biological diversity what is the national aquatic animal of india you have to remember this ganges river dolphin that is by ministry of environment and forestry on 18th may 2010 what is ecological efficiency that is energy output divided by energy input what is energy energy means capacity to do work that's the unit is a gram a calorie or british thermal unit btu there are different uh, laws of uh, thermodynamics like first law of thermodynamics second law of thermodynamics the first law of thermodynamics uh, says that energy never created nor destroyed only may be transferred from one form to other first Uh, law of thermodynamics what it says that energy never created nor destroyed it only transferred from one form to another what is second law of thermodynamics it is the no no process involved and energy transformation will spontaneously occur unless there is a degradation of the energy from a constant form form into a dispersed form okay so what uh, the second law of thermodynamics tells that is no process involving an energy transformation will spontaneously occur unless there is a degradation of the energy from a constant form into a dispersed form okay so these are the two laws of thermodynamics you have to remember ecosystem productivity there are we have already covered that primary productivity is there secondary productivity is there so there are certain factors affecting the primary productivity like light temperature and fall nutrient etc the level of ecosystem productivity uh, by ep odom 1959 the high productive ecosystem these are tropical forest then coral reef these are high productive ecosystem average productive ecosystem these are agricultural crop ecosystem temperate uh, crop ecosystem less productive ecosystem these are grassland savanna okay low productive ecosystem like arid land or desert ecosystem these are low productive ecosystem then uh, bio geochemical cycle what are the bio geochemical cycle that are oxygen cycle carbon cycle nitrogen cycle phosphorus cycle calcium and magnesium cycle so these are certain key points from ecology and ecosystem we have covered uh, if you face any doubt at any particular uh, point you can ask in the comment section or you can join our telegram group to clarify your doubts uh, if you have any request for uh, to prepare us any lecture on that particular uh, point or or concept then you can uh, tell us in our in the comment section or in our telegram group so see you in the next lecture till then bye bye have a great day